Reeves had over 20 open cases, and he was taking on some major players. A hospital chain that defrauded Medicare, a, a lab at Latham Pharmaceuticals cited for lax storage practices, and a company that sold the VA defective medical equipment. I feel the heavy hand of conspiracy. Yeah, well, what else is new? Consider this. Paul uncovers a nefarious scandal rife with corruption and financial skullduggery in connection with the federal contract. But with millions of dollars at stake, the greedy contractor, determined to stay latched onto the federal teat, lures Paul into a meeting in the park where he has an assassin silence him. Thus, Paul's findings never come to light. And I don't suppose that you have a particular case of Paul's in mind, do you? Or proof? Or suspects? No, but I will once you identify who met Paul at the park. I might be a step closer to that. Do you remember how Paul's brother mentioned that a meeting had just come up? Well, I looked into Paul's phone calls for the last 48 hours. One of them stood out. An incoming call to his office at 11.04 yesterday morning. The call lasted less than a minute, and I traced it to a payphone on the Lower East Side. Try and find out who made that call. Yeah. This is street cam video of that payphone. 11.04 yesterday morning, this is the man who called Paul Reeves. Toy ran the image and got a match on his face. Jared Stone, misdemeanor computer trespassing? Otherwise known as hacking. Stone was an Occupy Wall Street activist who hacked into a major bank, releasing their emails, which reflected poorly on their business practices. So why would a hacker like Jared Stone kill a GAO investigator? He wouldn't. That story doesn't make any sense, but this one does. Using his vaunted hacking skills, Jared Stone is the one who uncovered the nefarious scandal. So we're back to a nefarious scandal? Yes. See, he wants to blow the lid off a scandal, so who better to call than intrepid investigator Paul Reeves? Because, wait for it, Jared Stone is a whistleblower. And Paul Reeves was murdered because of what Jared Stone told him. Which, which actually means he could be in danger now. You have to admit, Castle's theory is surprisingly logical. Yes, and it's conveniently unburdened by evidence. Nevertheless, let's bring Jared Stone in for questioning, and let's take a look at the video footage of that payphone for the past two weeks. If Jared Stone talked to anyone, I want to know who it was. Yo, I may have an address on Jared Stone. I ran his emails. He rented a place on the Lower West off Craigslist. Go. Yeah, okay. 